Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Trackies, please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So Trackies, Shelly and Fraser Price came out and gave us two fantastic runs in the 100 meters. First in Luzerne, she ran 10.82 seconds and of course, keeping consistent, she ran 10.83 seconds in Madrid. Now, based on my comment section, you know, there are persons that are concerned about, you know, the possibility of Shelly and Fraser Price, you know, trying to defend her, you know, 100 meter title or possibly win a sixth world title. But before I get into my thought process as it relates to, you know, the concerns, let me let you all listen to Shelly and Fraser Price, her post-race interview, and then we can get back. I'm feeling good, you know, I'm considering um, how I started the season, you know, not being able to compete the way I wanted to and being able to have two 10-8 runs, it's truly fantastic. So for me, I'm just looking forward to continuing to build on that, go back to training, get some more work done, and look forward to, to Budapest. Who do I think will be my main rival? Um, to be honest, there are eight lanes. Once you show up in that finals, then it's odd. You know, for me, you would never take anything for granted because everybody show up and they show up to win. And that, that's the aim when they step to the line. So for me, I'm not necessarily singling out anyone in particular. I just know that all eight lanes are there to compete and give 100%, and so am I. Yeah, that'll definitely be um, a milestone, and it'll definitely, you know, pump me up for Paris 2024. Uh, so, you know, I, I try not to think about the accolades first, but focus on the race and running the race the best way I can, and then that take care of, uh, that take care of itself after that. So for me, it's just, making sure that I show up in Budapest 100% and if not 100% in the best shape I can be mentally, physically and get the job done. Um, yeah, it's something that's still there to be honest. But again, it's been a different season for me. So for me, it's just trying to stay healthy and build one race at a time. And I'm definitely looking forward to see what I can do in Budapest. All right, Chucky, so there you heard Shelly and Fraser Price. No, she's very content, you know, with those two runs based on the season that she's been having. So now she's just going to go back to training, do some fine tuning and get ready, turn up at the line and, of course, try to win like everybody else, right? So let's get into the concern, you know. Um, I guess, you know, with the whole, you know, 10.6, you know, Shelly, you know, that she rattled off last season, seeing her not, you know, rattle off, you know, 10.6 is everybody's a little bit concerned. But again, I, w I spoke to the fact that, you know, her typical start is a bullet start. So in our opinion, if Shelly and Fraser Price is, you know, struggling, her struggle era would not necessarily come towards, you know, the front, it would be at the back. However, considering that, you know, her issue, you know, this season was her, a knee problem, then of course, rightfully, you know, some of you in the comment section pointed out that, hey, maybe she's been tentative out of the blocks because of her knee. Now, so let's, let me go ahead and address that. You know, that's definitely, you know, a point that I can agree with. You know, my thought process, you know, going in is, of course, her, she's been strategic. Let me continue working on the last phase of my race. I know my start is good. Let me continue working on the last part of my race. That's as has always been my stance however you know this point is also very very valid now harping back to when she was just supposed to open her season of course we heard of the struggle with her knee and you know her having to literally you know cancel all those outings and literally we have not seen her until the national trials now at the natural national trials itself when we go back to you know her first run she was literally very slow out of the blocks and of course took her time and of course qualified for the finals however in the finals we saw her blast out of, the, out of the blocks you know run a good 120 and of course you know settled be, behind Sherika for second in that race so in my opinion you know her bullet start is still there but seeing as though she only utilized the bullet start only once so far then I'm starting to, you know, have a thought process that maybe it could also be valid that, you know, the knee is still not 100%. So in that aspect, you know, in races that I don't need to, you know, blast out of the blocks, I will not blast out of the blocks. So take, you know, these two races that we saw here. And I did, you know, still see, because we saw it in Kingston, we saw the tape, and I did, still did see a little black area around her knee. It didn't look like tape, though, because... 
you know, you can definitely see the lines of the tape. I'm not sure what that dark, you know, era was on her knee. Track is y'all that have done sport or have gotten injuries can possibly tell me what that was. But still, you know, in these two races that we saw here, you know, she came out very slow. So it is a possibility that, you know, considering, you know, how her knee feels, she's like, you know what, let me save my knee for the world championships. And that's very valid. Why would I try to, you know, blast out of the blocks if it is indeed that my knee is not 100% in this moment, in such a crucial moment when I don't need to, running against the people in the field that I don't need to push, you know, my knee out of the blocks for. But in all honesty, though, in my opinion, if, and again, this is just from an onlooker's perspective. Um, if her knee was so bad to the point that, again, she was not able to execute a full 100-meter race, then we would not be seeing, you know, the strength that we are seeing towards the end. So, yes, she may be a bit cautious, you know. Maybe she doesn't want to re-injure herself as it relates to the knee. But still, again, if it was so bad, track is in my opinion, then, you know, towards the end of the race, she would not be looking as devastating as she is. So, yes, on one hand, I do believe believe you know the concern about her knee is a valid claim but on the other hand i'm like even if that is the case right seeing how she's executing her race she's very smart she knows exactly what it takes you know to win a medal a global medal medal on any stage whether it's olympics or you know world championships so she knows what she needs to run by round so let's take for instance again these two races that we saw here you know, this could easily well be a heat race, well, possibly slower considering, you know, the contenders. And then, you know, this could be a semifinal race, you know, not needing to quote unquote push it, you know, in any of these rounds. However, I have one pop in me. If I have one pop in me, then that one pop is coming where? exactly when I need it. And that is, you know, the finals of the world championship. So again, track is, I understand, you know, the validity of this concern. However, again, I'm still leaning towards, you know, yet any issue um, may be there, but I'm leaning towards it not being, you know, as bad as, you know, it may seem for some of y'all where it may necessarily stop her from quote unquote meddling at the world championships or, you know, possibly even trying to retain her title. But at the same time, I believe she's definitely being smart about it and definitely going to turn up in great, great shape um, for the world championships. So, because again, think about it, two, four races, two 200s and two 100s, and she, she looks this good. Who of just running this amount of races for the season will still look this good, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, remember... As it stands right now, she's still fourth fastest in the world over the 100 meters based on times this season, you know, off two runs. You know what I mean? So with that said, I can definitely see her getting, you know, much faster when she comes back and faster enough, you know, to challenge for a medal. So I definitely still have her squarely in medal contention. And of course, as she said, challenging for gold, at the world championships, because again, she is that type of person. She's lining up to win. Right. So anyway, track is that's my thought process as it relates to the whole knee issue. Yes. Um, I see the validity of the claim and yes, I've been, you know, ignoring it to a certain extent because, you know, I've come to understand the type of warrior that she is and the type of class athlete that will turn up at the line regardless and still give a full effort and somehow with all of the problems walk away with a medal. Think about even in 2016 when she was injured, she still walked away with a medal at that particular point. So, and I don't think, you know, what she's facing now is remotely as close, you know, to what she was experiencing then. And at that point, she was still able to pull off a 10-8, what was it, 10-8-6 at the time in the finals to, to walk away with a bronze medal. So, if the Shelly that we're looking at now, um can you know drop a 10 8 to easy cruising you know out of the blocks then when she you know gives us that one pop as i said in the finals then it we can definitely see you know a sub um 10 7 in the finals for sure anyway trackies you tell me now in the comment section again how do you feel about her chances leading into the world championships like the video, subscribe, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.